Hello, so what we're going to look at today is to create a basic Gothic arch using the new uh, Sweep Brush tool. Uh, so where is it? Create Sweep Mesh tool. And also using the two point curve. So if we're looking at the kind of arch that we're going to make, it's kind of this sort of thing, this classic kind of Gothic arch. I don't necessarily have a decent image of this particular photo. So what I'm going to do is just go online and grab myself a quick reference image such as this um, just to, to use as a guide. I always like to use guides wherever possible. And once I'm in Maya, I'm going to come into my front view, view, image plane and import that image. There we go. And then let's just come in. Let's center this off to the grid where as close as possible. Move this up to the bottom of the grid line. I'm just going to press D and X to snap to the grid. And then I'm just going to expand this out. So I've got my grid set up to um, units of 50. So that's one meter. So I'm going to put this up to about two meters wide, I think. And I want to make sure maybe just push that up because I want to make sure I go to the grid. It's only a guide, it doesn't have to be too accurate. So the other thing I like to do is go into my channel box and just reduce my alpha gain so I can see this thing a little bit easier. Um, okay, so we're ready to go. Next thing I want to do is come in and go to create curve tool and I'm going to use my two point arc tool and I'm going to use X to snap to the grid at the top and then X to snap to the grid on this arc here. So we get this kind of um, arc coming through, but I can grab this handle oops, and flip it either way, which is not what I want. Grab this middle bit like a bow and arrow and just bring that down to match that arch. Around about there. So I can hit Q, which then sets my curve tool. Now from here, I'm going to go to create sweep mesh. This is a new tool for Maya and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so there's a lot of applications for this. So if I just click it by default, it's on poly. And if I come into my 3D view, let's just push this back a bit. So you can kind of see what's happening. Um, at the moment, it's just generated me um, this pipe, which is great, which is also UV'd, which is also um, really nice. Take a look there, it's lovely and you read. Um, but let's come back in. So in my sweep mesh, I can change the amount of size and play around with this. What I want in this particular one is the line. So then it's just a flat piece of geometry for this instance. Um, then what I want to do is come to alignment and transform. Where are you? There you are, the rotate profile. So I want to spin this around negative 90 in my case. I think because I went from top to bottom. If you went bottom to top, you might want to do that on the positive 90. So you can see now I've got it facing the right way in here. And I also want to offset this. So on the vertical, I want to put it to the bottom, no, top, because I've gone top to bottom, so the bottom to top. Um, so then we've got that offset to that there. I've come back in here. Now I'm going to do my scalar parameter and I'm going to do this 20. Nope, 10. Yeah, 10. And then, so at the moment it's really high and it's too, too high detail for, for what we actually need. So in here, I've got my precision, precision mode here. So you can kind of reduce the topology of that in there. What I can do is change this to start to end and then that makes it nice even topology. And then I can reduce my step count. What I, what I want to try and get is a point here, which matches this arch as well. So I think I think that's going to be okay. Then I just want to come up and clean this this up here. So I want to get my um, multi cut tool, I'm just going to hold down X, snap to the grid and shift just to cut straight through so I can just delete that there. So and then back here, what I'm going to do is just grab this 
and just snap that to the grid here. And then extrude that edge all the way down. And now I've got a really nice, perfect arch matching that um, topology using the mesh sweep and two point arc. I can now get rid of that arc. That's just, uh, what am I doing? Delete my history, free transformations. I can delete that curve. Don't need that anymore. Um, and now what I want to look at is creating this middle section. Um, so the way in which I'm going to do this is by putting in a middle cut here, which essentially forms this arch that will be coming down here. Um, so what I'm from here, I'm going to take this curve because we've already got that profile and I'm going to extrude out offset of 10. And then I'm going to extract those faces. Then to my pivot, and I can pull those away. And then I'm going to D and V and move my pivot up to here. Negative one in the scale of X. And then essentially this wants to come in here. Or in this instance, I want it to be to the center of the grid. So I'll do it there. I've kind of slightly offset this. So if I move it up, that's going to be more accurate. And then I can just delete that one. And then if I select these, I can combine and merge that vertice. Now, what I should have really done is had these divisions to be the same width as that. So then it matched up perfectly and neat. So I've not done that unfortunately, um, but it's not too much of an issue. What I'm just going to do is come in here and just going to put a temporary division in there to give me this point. And then I'm going to just going to merge that up to that. It's only slightly off or bothers me slightly. And that's just Grab this one, and I'm going to merge that down as well. So then we've got this in here. Snap that to the grid. Extract that down. And then if I want to put in a cut here and here, oops, just level those out and snap that to the grid bridge. We can just bring in this corner here like so for the edge flow. And there we have that. We could also come up here like so, and maybe even just tie that off up there. Just to sort of clean that up a little bit. Then we have this. Move pivot to the middle, control 
D. Negative 1 in the X. Combine and merge those vertices down the middle. And we have a nice arch window that I can now extrude back, do whatever I need to with, oops. Take that all back, say minus 20. And there we have it.